So when you we talk about solutions and we talk about basic things that people who are not rich or famous or feel like they have a lot of power, what do you think are some of the things that they could be doing in order to move us forward? Well, I've only been rich and famous about eight years. The first 12 <laughs> years of my rap career did not go very well. And at the same time, it did not go well for me. I still was active in my community. I still mentored and helped people. I still make sure I help people organize by helping people to mobilize with what liberal celebrity and money I had. I made sure that I have voted in every election. I've encouraged others to get them out to vote. But what does voting matter? Because my presidential candidate didn't win. So your school board member can win, your city council person, your wardsman can win, and then you can have a direct effect on local politics. I can get to the mayor with that one to two phone calls. My grandmother was a regular woman, a nurse, nobody knew her. Her funeral was packed like a celebrity and she could get to the mayor in six phone calls because she was persistent and consistent and constantly in her community working. So that's what you can do. On a very local level, you can make sure you're taking care of your right to vote. On a very local level, you can be helping grassroots organizations that need hands. You got people that are organized in every city to feed the homeless. They don't have enough hands to help them on Saturdays and Sundays. Go out, and that's going to say, well, what's feeding the homeless going to do? It's going to get you actual testimony from those people so you can start to, start to understand systemically these people are more likely to. How do we fix the systems? You know, and so for me, I, I think that organizing on a local level is the best thing. And the plot plan, strategize, organize, and localize. Plot out what you think you want. Start to plan and then strategize with others so you can learn. You can give and get information. Then you organize and mobilize. So that's that's a very simple thing. And if we all do a little, no one has to do a lot. I don't want you to quit your job and become overwhelmed and saving the world because usually that overwhelms you and it drives you into a depression, you know. What I'd like to see you do is work in solidarity with other people in which you're assigned um, committees or groups and you guys can handle each individual things in a small group together and make for a bigger win. So in, in terms of getting people out to vote, I don't need you to get your whole side of the town out to vote. I need you to get 10, 15, or 20 of your friends and family members to vote. Because 10 of us do that, that turns into 200. Well, what does 200 votes count? The current mayor that we have in Atlanta, Georgia was elected by 720 votes. Mm. And you think about that. That's 72 people getting 10 people to vote. So that's the importance that we need on a local level. So for, for anyone of the diaspora, let's start to see where we're strong politically and push. For anyone in the diaspora, let's see where we're strong economically and push. And let's start making sure that media outlets like yours are serviced just like the larger corporate-owned media outlets. So the information that we're getting is biased and for us, and we're not just the subjects or some type of weird media zoo that people are looking at and talking about, but the actual participants in the life that is being talked about.